What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create an 80s slash 90s style title. Super fun one, let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out weekly videos helping you guys grow as creators. Today, we're gonna to be diving into DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna be creating an 80s slash 90s style vintage looking title. It's a very popular thing that was when I was growing up to see these stupid infomercials or like at the beginning of a movie saying like feature presentation and it was just over the top, terribly done. But of course, it was super cool to any of us that grew up with it being at that time it's gonna be kind of weird looking back and seeing what my kids think looks weird that we think looks cool now without further ado let's dive into DaVinci Resolve and we'll go from there so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the effects library and we're gonna go under effects and we're gonna grab a fusion composition clip we're gonna drop it in here I do prefer to make my clips a little bit longer than the standard five seconds it gives us I normally like seven to eight seconds depending on what I'm doing but for today's purpose this will work just fine so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a background. So right here, we're gonna click this button that says background. We're gonna add it into our node tree. Again, you can hit shift spacebar and bring up any one of these, but there is also shortcuts that is right underneath the video player itself that if you learn, it can save you a little bit of time, which will add up overall in the long run. So the first thing I wanna do is connect the background to the media out. And instead of it being a solid black, I like to change this to vertical because in the 80s and 90s, they had that terrible kind of gradient from like a red to black, or red to blue background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the top color kind of in a very gentle purple to black. And on the bottom color, we're gonna introduce some red. You can mess with the alpha right here if it's too much. So we'll just do a little bit. Be careful if you put too much of that uh, and make it transparent because then if you have a video behind it, it's going to start showing through. I know nothing's gonna be showing through, so that's okay, but keep that in mind. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create a text. Again, you can hit shift space or you can click this text button right here. I'm gonna drag it over here and we're gonna go ahead and type in what we want. I'm just gonna put feature. I'm gonna right click on this and I am going to rename this to feature just so we don't get confused later. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this holding shift and the mouse at the same time and connecting it right there. It'll bring a merge node in there to connect that to our tree. And in here we can start changing things, sizing it up and making it look the way we want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change this to just an outline by clicking on the paint tab over here on the right. I'm gonna click right here under properties and appearance. I'm gonna click the outline of it. And in here we can make the thickness of the text thicker if we like or thinner. I kind of find just the one that it's already set on seems to be fine out of the gate. We can also make the style be a little bit sharper if you don't like the rounded edges, which I kind of like the sharper edges because it is that 80s and 90s. They didn't have a lot of high megapixel stuff back then. Now we're gonna create an RGB effect. So we're gonna hit shift space bar and we're gonna look for BO and it's gonna bring up channel Boolean and we're gonna add that. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna hit command C on a Mac, command V. Command V and Command V again, detach that because I don't need those connected. I'm gonna bring this up just to make it a little more tidy. Line these up right here. Now I need to connect the text to these channels right here. So I'm actually gonna detach that merge. We'll just bring it down here. We're actually going to right click on it as we drag it over and connect it. And we're gonna connect it to the background. We're gonna do the same thing, right click, hold it down, background. Hold right click down, let go, background. That way it's connected to all three of the backgrounds. You don't see anything because this isn't connected to our node tree at the time. If I brought up dual monitors, I could click this one and click one and it's gonna bring it up right here. I don't need that because we've already kind of adjusted our text the way we like it. Now we're gonna click on the first one. We're gonna do the same thing, rename, and we're gonna name this red. Right click on this one, do the same thing, rename green. and blue for the last one. We're gonna click on the first one right here and we're gonna actually go over here to the inspector red and under the red, we're gonna leave it the way it is. 
under green we're going to click that we're going to scroll down to where it says black we're going to change that on the green and the blue both to black then we're going to click on the green and we're going to do the same thing to the green we're going to shut the red off black shut the blue off black go to the blue shut off the red and the green now again you can see these text and what we did if we split screen this again and on the text is brought right here if we click on red we can hit one to bring it up here hit green hit one hit blue hit one and you can see all three of these are separated but what we need to do now is we need to connect these all and merge them together so what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna hold and we're gonna copy the blue and the green we're gonna hit command C click off of it command V just to bring them right here I'm gonna bring the green up here and the blue right here we're gonna right click on here and we're gonna connect it again and we're gonna add it to the background hold right click again connect it to the background now if we click on green number one we're gonna go up here to the operation mode and we're gonna actually add and we're gonna do the same thing with the blue and we're gonna hit add then we're gonna click on the green node and we're gonna right click on it connect it to the green but because the background node is taken we're gonna put it on the foreground node we're gonna do the same thing to the blue we're gonna right click on it foreground you can click on this and hit option at the same time and bring these little tabs up to make it a little bit tidier kind of makes it just a little bit cleaner and my OCD freaks out so I do like to highlight everything from time to time right click on it and line up to grid that way it just looks a little bit tidier now if we click on blue number one you can see that it is back to white and everything is normal you do have those channels hiding behind it the red green and blue separated but everything is connected back to the blue which is turning it back to white because we have it as an ad you can rename these if you like to make it a little bit easier we're just going to put add and we're going to rename this one and put add two that way it's just a little bit more tidy i'm going to grab these and move them over a little bit better now what we can do is we can connect this to the merge node we had right here by dragging and connecting and you can see it brings it back up on our main node tree what I like to do though is grab these let's move them down a little bit further we're gonna have to start animating these so what we're gonna do is we are gonna add a transform node to each one of these right here there's a shortcut for transform or you can hit shift spacebar we're just gonna add it right here I'm gonna hit shift at the same time drag it in we're gonna add a transform node to each one of these now that that's all connected what I like to do is I actually like to add a glow to this so I'm gonna hit shift spacebar and I'm gonna type in glow it's gonna bring up a glow right here we're gonna add it that way our whole thing is actually glowing and we can click on the glow itself and we can size the glow down if we would like we can change it but I kind of like it to be extra poppy because it is a very 80s and 90s style thing it just was over the top everything was a bit eccentric and looking I don't know just over the top basically what I'm gonna do is start scrolling over to where I would like this to come in let's just say 44 frames is good we're gonna hit the transform node number one and we are gonna hit a size and we are gonna mess with these add a keyframe on all these just in case I'm going to mess with them we're gonna do the same thing, not moving this. I'm gonna go down the line, hit keyframes on all of the ones that I think I might hit. Same thing on number three, hit all those keyframes just to drop in where I want the title to end. Then I'm gonna scroll back over to 36. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do size, aspect, angle, center, and pivot. Same thing on all three, adding keyframes. We can change these keyframes later, but I like to just go ahead and add them in. That way I've kind of got markers to know. Now I know I want this to be sized up, so I'm actually gonna hover over 36 again, and we're gonna size this way up to where I think I want it to be. Let's just say right there should be good. We're gonna do the same thing on the second transform. I'm gonna go ahead and size it up. Let's do like right about there, so it's a little bit bigger. And on the blue, we're gonna do the same thing. 
and it shouldn't mess up any keyframes as long as you're hovering over the same one you did earlier. Now, if we play that through, it'll kind of bounce into itself, which I like, but I actually think I'm going to slow up or speed up blue a little bit. See how that looks. Yeah, that looks cool. Now I'm gonna scrub back over to, let's say one frame right here and on the red, we are gonna grab it and we're gonna move it way over here. Let's do right about there. I'm gonna click on the green and we're gonna do the exact opposite. We're gonna go the other way. That way it's kind of going the opposite of itself. We're gonna click on the blue and we're actually going to make it go from the top, I think looks kind of cool. That way it's kind of falling down. So now if we play that through, it actually looks kind of cool. It's very trippy. It might be a bit too much and too fast, but I kind of like that. And we're actually, now that I look at it, I'm gonna turn this glow down a little bit. It's a little too much for my taste. Yeah, that looks better. And what I like to do is I'm actually gonna click on one of these so I can see where it pops in. We'll go right about at the 40 frames. We're gonna add a keyframe on glow size and glow. I'm gonna go over right there and I'm gonna turn the glow size way up and the glow. And then I'm gonna go over a handful of frames and I'm gonna size it down again and bring the glow back down. That way it kind of does like a pop of glow when it hits. Watch that through one more time. If you like the way that looks right there, which I do, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our second text. Of course, you can change all the RGB keyframes and make it your own completely. You don't have to follow this exactly. This is just kind of the steps and method I'm going about and how I want it to look. I went on ahead and typed up a second text by doing the same thing, adding a text, adjusting it, doing it the way I like it. That looks pretty good. We're gonna hit shift and we're gonna drag it into our node tree. I'm gonna bring this up over here so I can see a little bit better. And in here, I'm gonna go ahead and move the text down a little bit. It is definitely way too big. So we'll do it right about there. Let me click one screen so I can see a little better. I'm gonna move this up. You can do the same thing again. You can do a transform node if you would like. That way in here, you can mess with the size as well. But I think that looks pretty good. Let me bring these up a little higher. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add a glow to this by looking for glow. Add that in there. I am gonna turn that down though because I don't need it quite so poppy. Just enough so it kind of matches it. We're gonna do the opposite so it's not the outline. It's just an artistic taste. You can click on here and you can do the same thing. You can have an outline. I personally don't like that. I don't think it looks very good. It looks too similar. So we're gonna leave that the way it is. We're gonna drag over here to write about 46 frames on mine. And again, you can click on any of these transform nodes and see kind of where your keyframes are at to know where you want this to come in. We're gonna go ahead and click on the presentation node and under here, under the shear, I like to make it just a little bit offset because I think it looks more 80s and 90s. And I think that looks pretty good. Under the size, we can turn this all the way down, which is what I did on mine. I'm gonna hit Command Z to forget that. I am gonna go ahead and add a keyframe here. And then I'm gonna go over, let's say to 54 frames and we'll add another keyframe. I'm gonna go back to the 46 frames where I added the first one and I'm gonna turn this all the way down. Now if we play that through, it pops up and I think that actually looks pretty good. You can also do the same thing if you want. You can have the glow start less and pop more. We can add a keyframe here again. Go over right here real far and we'll add another one. We'll go back to the middle one and we can turn the glow up quite a bit. That way it kind of just has this 80, 90s vibe to it, and I, I'm, I'm digging that right there. You could actually change keyframes at the end and you could have the text actually pop towards the screen the same way 
but I like personally just doing the cheesy fade in and fade out because that's really what it was when I was growing up. It just kind of faded on the screen, add some really vintage sound effects, and then that VHS effect on top to make it look more old and aged and you've really got a cool effect. There you go guys, that's how to make a 80s slash 90s vintage looking title. Uh, I will be making a tutorial that'll be coming out very soon on how to save these as multiple different styles. There's just so much information in that I can't cram pack it in this video with it not being too much on this video specifically. So definitely keep an eye out for that. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button, tagging along, uh, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my new videos. Give me a like, drop a comment below, some new videos you wanna see coming out. I'm the Iron Giant, you guys are amazing. I'm out, peace.